Hello everyone, Josh First back at it again, bringing you guys some more Mobile Legends Adventure, and today I'm going to be showcasing kind of my account update, where I've progressed in the two days I've been playing the game. I've been, of course, playing the game 100% free to play, as you can see here, my VIP is zero, zero EXP, I have not spent a penny on this game, full 100% free to play, so I'm going to be showing you my two day progress, kind of some of the obstacles that I've kind of hit and how I kind of overcame them and kind of where I'm at uh, progression wise when it comes to story and other game modes um, in in the two-day period so let's go ahead and first showcase my team now I did pull a couple new five stars however they were dupes but what's cool about this game is you can actually run duped characters on your team so since they're gonna be stronger than my natural four stars I went ahead and ran them anyway and with the cool dismantle feature, I can just go ahead, strip all my resources from the four stars and give them to my five stars. And I can do the same thing to my five stars later on because if I actually get one more Gord or one more Odette, I can actually limit break them or however you want to call it, awaken them, um, which is very cool because I don't have enough dupes. Um, but for now, I'm running two Odettes and two Gords and one Xylong. So we're only going to have to talk about three characters since two of them are going to be dupes. So first, let's talk about my Odette. The dance of the swans. I love that. So graceful and charming. <laughs> I love her, her voice. It's pretty cool. And then, of course, you know her design. Mm, looking good, Odette. So right now, she's sitting at 12,418 HP, 1,322 magic power, 424 defense. Um, so not not too bad. Not too bad. Um, she's currently got 4,381 battle power, so she's definitely the strongest unit currently on my eh, on my team. She is a mage, and she's an AoE heavy unit. Now, four of my characters out of five are AoE, and it's kind of very helpful for when I'm doing a lot of runs in a game, because I feel like single target's probably going to hit more, obviously, but having that times four AoE basically on my team has really helped me get through some really tough spots especially if i have um type disadvantage or i'm sorry type advantage so very very helpful now some of her skills that she's rocking right now of course is her ultimate when she does have her um her mana or sp built all the way up that little yellow bar um she does 107 percent of her magic power to enemies within the area and slowing their attack speed by 30 percent for up to three seconds now three seconds doesn't sound like a lot but in a game like this when it's kind of hack and slash rpg three seconds is a long time when you're lowering it by 30 percent during the duration of this skill odette's damage taken will be reduced by 30 percent so she's also very self-efficient with herself um and lowering um enemies attack um after the ultimate is released the damage of lakeshore ambience increases by 100 percent so She's crazy good, and she's a free character that you get when you start the game right now. It's insane. Um, her um, second skill, her AoE, Avian Authority, Odette forms a swan out of energy and releases it, dealing magic damage equals to 77% of her magic power to enemies hit. The damage increases by 50% for every extra, I'm sorry, for every extra enemy hit. So she's just a crazy AoE damage dealer. Um... And then her other skill that I have unlocked right now is an AoE control skill, Blue Nova. Odette unleashes a magic orb forward, uh, dealing magic damage equals to 114% of her magic power to enemies hit and immobilizing them for one and a half seconds. The magic orb will release extra small magic orbs on its flank uh, upon hitting an enemy, dealing magic damage equal to 114% of her magic power to enemies hit and immobilizing them for 1.5 seconds so she is crazy good and of course if i get her to level 81 i'll unlock her lakeshore ambience which of course if you read here increases her damage by 100 percent um after you use her ultimate so unfortunately i gotta wait to do that and it's her passive but it does all these other things too but we're gonna talk about that and showcase that when i get her to 81 that's gonna be probably a little while maybe i don't know we'll see how it goes but man is she awesome all right and then you can see her gear right now her gear is kind of i'm not even going to really talk about gear my gear is still like kind of beginner level gear nothing really too special there so i'm not really going to go into gear um now we're going to go on over to my gourd he is also a mage aoe damage so this is what i was telling you guys i'm running two units and two dupes of those units so four aoe damage mages in total you can see his HP attack and defense are all a little bit less because obviously they're not level 70 and they don't have the best gear. Actually, I can upgrade his gear a little bit right now. 
Uh, let me go ahead and do that. All right, that's all I could do. <laughs> One little upgrade, boy, but you know, hey. Um, so what he is bringing to the, we can actually upgrade him a little bit here. All right. So what he's bringing to the table here is energy overflow. Is his ultimate. Gore releases a powerful wave of rune energy forward, dealing magic damage equal to 37% of his magic power to enemies every 0.3 seconds for three seconds. So it's hitting it quick. Just boom, 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 boom. Like, like mad, man. I believe he gets 10 hits out of that, right? Yeah, I believe he's getting 10 hits out of that. So 370%, I think? I don't know. That's whew, pretty crazy. Um, arcane shot, another AoE attack. Gord throws a bouncing uh, magic orb at the target area, dealing magic damage equal to 163% of his magic power to targets hit and stunning them. So stunning is very huge. That's kind of one of the things that really helped me get through some of the harder to beat stages because I was able to stun some of the bosses and stuff like that. Very, very cool. Um, and of course, I'm running two of him, so it makes it even better. And I'm running two of her. So whoo! And here we go, our boy that I'm currently using as my tank, even though he's not a tank, he has the highest defense currently on my team, so he is the tank, he's got the highest HP I believe as well, so I have him in the front row, he's sitting at 4186 battle power right now, he is a fighter control damage, um, his, his ultimate is a buff, Supreme Warrior, Xilong increases his attack speed by 28% and his attack by 50%. So that's a nice buff. He'll um, become immune to control effect temporarily and all previous control effects will be removed. So he's very, very good. Um, he also has uh, his Spear Flip. Xilong lifts an enemy up and drops them behind himself, dealing physical damage equal to 199% of his attack and lowering their armor by 30%. So basically armor breaking, defense breaking, whatever you want to call it. Very nice unit. Um, and then Spear Strike. Xilong charges towards a target, dealing physical damage equal to 199% of his attack and slowing their attack speed by 8%. So this guy is very good when it comes to buffing and controlling the uh, fight. He's a very good control freak. And I've, I've enjoyed him so far. Um, I don't know what the tier is on all these characters. What's the best or what's the worst five star or whatever. But so far, these guys have been, have been pulling their weight and doing their job. And that is currently my um, five-man team. You know, two women, of course, but, you know, you get the idea. Um, so there's that. That That's my team right now. Uh, currently in campaign, I'm sitting at 710. I can almost beat it. I come up just a bit too short. Um, you can see here my current minute rewards are up to 384, 384, and 336 gold per minute now. So those are going up. You can see I'm almost currently level 55. Trying to get the 60 by tomorrow so my land of quest can be upgraded one difficulty here. So I can start doing this one to get um, more level up rewards, more level up EXP materials. So hopefully I can do that. And then I got to, of course, work on getting the 65 for that one and then 70 for this one. So those are going to probably be in at least another day or two, if not a little bit longer. But I'm definitely, hopefully, hopefully going to get the 60 by tomorrow. Um... Um, what else we got here? A crusade. Crusade. I'm still not able to do nine crusades yet. I can almost do eight. As you can see, there's two. There's an enemy barely left alive, and then there's another one that has like three fourths of his HP left. If I could just get through that, I'd be okay. Um, but I need to get more units up to forty. I'm probably gonna start working on some of my four stars, getting them up to forty again, um, so I can start doing a little bit better in crusade. At least get through nine levels of crusade per uh, two days. To get at least three chests to unlock. So hopefully that's something I'll be working on. Um, Fusion Shrine. As you can see I don't have enough dupes of some things yet. I got a lot of cop two copies like of, of a lot of units. I just need a third copy to uh, start doing a lot more fusions. I have fusion, uh, fusioned a few three stars um, into four stars so far. I think I've fusioned a couple of these guys now. So I get one more and I'll be able to make him a five star. Um, so that's, that's going to be pretty cool. Have some more five stars. Um, Labyrinth, I'm currently um what, what rank am I right now? I am current. Where am I at? I am. Uh, I'm right here. I'm senior. I'm get, no, no. I'm right here actually. Junior. I've completed Junior Explorer two, so I'm working on getting to Senior Explorer one right now. So that's what I'll be working on tomorrow. As you can see, I'm almost there. I need another hundred EXP, and then boom, I'll have it. So probably another labyrinth run and i'm done and then i'll be able to upgrade to the next one and start getting better and better rewards 
So I'm moving on that front a little bit. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, by the way, on campaign, in case some of you are wondering what the actual uh, the power is, the attack power, I'm sorry, the total team power of some of the enemies here at 710, you can see it's at 13,379. Now, if you look at my team, you're like, wow, you're like 6K over that. You should be able to blitz. This game is very in particular about how you do team comps more so than just straight up battle power. So definitely keep that in mind. Just because you have like 10, 15K more battle power does not mean you're going to win. And I'll, I'll show you. I'll just, we'll just do the fight real quick. Yeah. And, and before I probably win this fight. But probably not though because I'm, I'm already getting my butt kicked. The boss just does so much damage. I mean that stun is very helpful um, temporarily. But it's not enough. And then those damn mages in the back staying in the back row um are really a pain in the ass yeah i can almost beat this stage almost i get them all so low but he just comes out on top in the end because i can't get to those those uh biatches in the back um they're definitely causing me some issues so we'll have to work on that um my tank dies too quickly he's um just basically getting belched i need an actual proper tank what i really need though is a healer i have not pulled a five star healer yet that's what i really really need if you guys pull a five star hero that is a healer kudos to you thumbs up it's gonna probably get you really far because i've done this without a healer this whole time getting up to 710 so if you guys do get a healer congratulations you're better off than I was. Um, uh, let's see here. So that's pretty much all that stuff. We're going to do a couple summons here in the Wishing Shrine. Uh, we'll do that at the end. We'll do like what? Three summons or so. Maybe four. I don't know how many I'll be able to do. Probably three. See if we get lucky and pull a YOLO 5 star here on the video. That'd be pretty nice. Um, and let's go ahead and do a couple uh, arena runs. Which I, you can see I'm currently ranked 244. My team's battle power is 19,541. Of course my defense team is still the same as my attack team. Uh, obviously. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can't beat any of these guys. Let's see if we can beat the Amazing C. The Amazing I. The Amazing I. I don't know what. Whatever. So, we're not going to skip this, right? So, you're going to let this fight play out. See if we can't win this battle. Alright. I didn't even pay attention to who I was even fighting, what their team was. <laughs> Rip. Oh, yeah. So, he must have had a lot better gear than me somehow. Oh, he stunned me. Rip. So, Helos is so good. He just stuns so much. Um, and I believe Helos you get on your day 7. So, this player has probably been playing for 7 days. That or he pulled him. But, um, I've seen a lot of people in PvP running Helos. And I can see why. Look, I mean, it... The stun spam is ridiculous. At least you still get rewards for losing. But, man, that stun is just wow. Wow. So, Helos is your seven-day reward currently right now. If you're playing a game right now, uh, or if you're waiting for global um, the U.S. server or whatever. Um, but right now, if you're playing, you can get Helos on your seven-day login. And, I mean, as you guys can see, that stunning is ridiculous. <laughs> in PvP, it's ridiculous. It's probably going to be really good in PvE as well. I actually can't wait to add him to my team um, because of that. And, wow, see, we're just we're getting blitzed right now. Um by certain units wow and that team looked like a team we should have just completely taken out this has got another helos in it so oh boy he's a melee he's a tank too wow S such a great unit a tank a tank that stuns that is whoof. oh 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 my god I just realized this whole time. Oh my goodness, guys. We were running two units that weren't even with gear and they're level one. Oh my god. I forgot to swap my team with the new units after I uh, dismantled and everything. Oh my god. I probably should. I probably would have won all three of those fights. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, the misplays, dude. The misplays. Oh. Wow. I didn't even realize that. I was not paying attention. Wow. Wow. I didn't even realize my offensive team was completely messed up. Wow. 
We're gonna do one more fight just just because. Okay, we're gonna do one more just to make up for that. Wow, I cannot believe that. Wow. See, he's not supposed to be my team. And who else was it? She's not supposed to be my team. These two are supposed to be my team. They're supposed to be right here. He's supposed to be back there. Oh my god. <laughs> Rip. Wow. Holy crap. Well, oh well. At least you guys got to see that misplay on uh, on the video. Oh well. I'm not one of those YouTubers that's going to edit that out and be like, Oh, look how perfect my team is. Nah, you guys, you guys are going to see the fails too because they're just equally as entertaining. I cannot believe that. I, it took me three games to realize that. Wow. <laughs> that knocked me back in a ranking sum. Yep, I went from 244 to 370. Ah, oh, noob error. Noob error. Wow. Ooh, that stung. That stung. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and finish this off with three summons. Now that you guys know kind of where I'm up to date here with the game. Um, as you can see, I've gotten pretty far in two days. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and do a couple summons here. See if we get lucky. See if it goes yellow. Go. Give me the gold, baby. Give me the gold. Okay. Two star. All right. Rip. <laughs> now the game's going to make me pay for those uh, misplays. Oh, we got a five. What? Yo. Yo. Another five star on a YOLO. Oh, my. That's my third one today, guys. That is my third YOLO five star today. If I would have known I was going to have that kind of luck, I would have streamed or um, or at least recorded all my summons from earlier. I did not expect to get three YOLO summon five stars in one day. Wow. So we got a charge um, specialty and class assassin. What does this guy do? He looks pretty badass. Um, triple sweep. Saber knocks enemies airborne for uh, one and a half seconds, slashing enemy three times each last Deal is physical damage equal to 174% of his attack. During this period of time, Saber cannot be targeted. What? Uh, unlocks when hero reaches 21. Flying sword. Saber shoots out four flying swords each, dealing physical damage equal to 20%. His attacks, enemies hit. The flying swords will return to Saber after a while. If Saber uses charge, the flying swords will be retrieved in advance. What? And Saber charges towards enemy, dealing physical damage equal to 211%. And... Each time Saber deals damage to an enemy, target's armor will be reduced by 5%, stacked up to 5 times. So that'd be 25%. Uh, that's not bad. So he's a defense breaker um, with a passive. Wow, he's got a defense bro break uh, passive. Wow. Man, I have to get that boy to 81. <laughs> he looks badass. I cannot believe that just happened, guys. Wow. So we're going to do one more summon. I don't even care what we get at this point. That is just insane luck. Okay, that's fine. We got a three-star Bane. Actually, I believe I needed... No, I needed another four-star version of him. But regardless, wow, we pulled a new hero. A new five-star hero. Um, we're going to get... Actually, we can do one more summon. We can actually do one more summon. Wow, that is... Whoo! Saber! Welcome to the team. Um, too bad it wasn't the saber that I love, my saber from Fate, but I'll take that saber just as much because he looks pretty dope. He's a good, he's a good male version of saber. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, and we're gonna finish off with an epic fireball. We should have said epic fail because it was a two star. <laughs> but uh, wow, so that was amazing luck. So you guys now see that I got six five stars, um, three of which are different. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we have for you guys today. Hope you guys have been enjoying my progress updates and the videos um, for, you know, this game. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I, I have been enjoying it. The game does not take very much time to play per day. Like I said, it is not time um, uh, heavy at all. You can just jump in for 20, 30 minutes for the whole day and you're done. And then you let the idol do the rest of the work for you. Come in, pick it up again tomorrow. And there's a lot of different game modes that you can play every day to kind of keep you always coming back for more. So, not too bad. So, I think they did pretty good. I never played the MOBA version, but this version seems really fun, really different. Um, so, yeah. So, there's Mobile Legends uh, Adventure for you guys. Day 2 progress. Hope you guys have been enjoying. 
And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Comment below what you guys think about the game. What's your progress if you've been playing? Are you planning to play when it comes to U.S. and other regions that are unavailable right now? And like the video if you did, as always. And join us in the Discord in the description below. Until next time, you guys all have a wonderful day wherever you are. Until then, peace.